Luckily, they have no idea that cleaning surfaces does not stop us. They don't know that we, virusols, carry a huge amount of viruses and we can float in the air for hours. Better that they never find out. Humans didn't expect that we could penetrate so deep into the lungs. They totally underestimate us. Wonderful. Let's hide here and let the viruses replicate some more of themselves. I love how humans leave some tiny leaks for us. That's so sweet. The loose masking really increases our chances of finding a host. The Quest of the Virusols In the Milky Way galaxy, there is a beautiful blue planet called Earth. Earth has a thick layer of atmosphere composed of many gases like nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapor, and many other trace gases. There are also many fine particulate matters suspended in the atmosphere, called aerosols by humans on Earth. Aerosols are microscopic, liquid, solid, or semi-solid particles. They are so small that they remain suspended in the air for a long, long period of time. Aerosols are produced by many different sources, such as natural aerosols emitted from the ocean, volcano eruptions, or wildfires. In addition, there are also many types of anthropogenic aerosols produced from human-made pollution. However, there is another type of aerosol that carries pathogens called virus-laden aerosols or virusols. We are virusols, a part of the aerosol family. We are also known as virus-laden aerosols. We are very tiny particulate matters. Hey folks, let's float around and find some hosts today. We are made when people infected with viral diseases speak, sing, shout, or simply breathe. Our job is to find a target host who can inhale us so we can deliver the viruses into that person. Once viruses deposit inside the person, they can initiate new infections. We are so small that we can float and travel in the air for hours without being noticed. However, our destiny is largely determined by airflow and ventilation. Don't think we are weak just because we are tiny. We can carry a lot of viruses, much more than droplets. Watch out. In contrast to the mysterious virusols, more well-known to humans are those called the droplets. We are droplets. We are much bigger than virusols. When infected people sneeze or cough, it is time for us to rush out. Like virusols, we also deliver respiratory viruses, but we are not as good as them. We cannot go too far from the person releasing us and can only remain suspended in the air for less than five seconds. This guy has no respiratory symptoms, no coughing, no sneezing. He doesn't produce that many droplets. Although we are much bigger, we don't carry more viruses than virusols. When infected, people speak, sing, shout, or simply breathe. We virusols are released into the air. We are smaller than 100 micrometers. Most of us are even smaller than 5 micrometers. Therefore, we can float and travel in the air for hours. Humans hardly notice our presence. See that girl? That's our target. Go, go, go! go! Oh no, that girl is more than two meters away. There's no way we can get to her. Hey, where did the droplets go? Droplets are too big and heavy to catch up with us. They fall in just a few seconds. Look at them. Five, four, four three, two, two one. <laughs> <laughs> this time is no better than the last. We are still within one meter. 
people always wonder how long we can linger in the air. Well, I can be as big as 100 micrometer, but still smaller than the droplets, who are larger than 100 micrometers. I can stay slightly longer in the air than the droplets. Haha, -ha, I am smaller than you. I am only 5 micrometer in diameter. I can take my sweet time and float in the air for about 30 minutes before landing. I am the best. I am only one micrometer in size, and I can float in the air for more than 12 hours. In any case, we are all better than the droplets. They can never get away from gravity. Yeah, that's right. We are so tiny that we can travel by the airflow and through the ventilation systems. We can even move between different rooms in a building. Droplets can never learn our special trick to get a ride with the airflow. Droplets can never learn our special trick to get a ride with the airflow. Let's go to other rooms to find some new hosts. Perfect! I love when people cluster together and when the ventilation is not good. I know! See, some people don't even have their masks on, and somebody has been singing for hours. Let's spread around. Yeah! yeah. Let's, Let's rumble. rumble! Do you see that girl over there? Even though she is wearing a mask, it's not tight enough. Ha 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 ha! See those gaps? Awesome! Let's sneak in! I love how humans leave some tiny leaks for us. That's so sweet. The loose masking really increases our chances of finding a host. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get in and have some fun. Oh no, I feel so weak. I think I'm dying. Is there a potential host nearby? If I can't find one to take me in, my life will be over soon. Hang in there, buddy. You can make it. We are almost there. Finally, we made it. Where is this place anyway? This is around the human's nose and throat area, or nasopharyngeal region. Some of us, big ones, would deposit here and cannot go any further. Ha <laughs> ha! See ya then! I am smaller than 5 micrometers. I can easily pass through the nasal oral cavities and the upper respiratory tract. I can travel deep into lungs to the bronchiolar or alveolar regions. Yeah, I've heard that the air sacs in the lungs or alveolar lumen are like paradise for us. Hey, wait for me! Ah, this place is so great cozy and private. And even better, humans cannot catch us here with their screening tests, which only go into the oral and nasal regions. As long as we can reach the lower respiratory tract and deposit here, we are safe. Humans didn't expect that we could penetrate so deep into the lungs. They totally underestimate us. Wonderful! Let's hide here and let the viruses replicate some more of themselves. The viruses need to work harder if we want to conquer the world. <laughs> but what we really need is someone like a cell receptor to lead the virus into the cell. I heard the ACE2 is the best receptor for the type of coronavirus we are carrying. Hello? Is ACE2 around? Your virus delivery is here. Please come and get them. I see Ace 2 right there. Hi, Virusols. Do you have some viruses for us? This way, this way. Phew, mission accomplished. What a quest. We can finally give them the viruses. Ah, looks like they really hate the viruses. They want to kill the viruses so badly. Luckily, they have no idea that cleaning surfaces does not stop us. They don't know that we, virusols, carry a huge amount of viruses and we can float in the air for hours. Better that they never find out. Do you see those barriers they put between the seats? Yes, I see them. Humans are wasting their time and efforts because they think they are fighting with the droplets. 
They don't know who they are fighting against. We are so much better virus carriers than the droplets. Well, with those blocks in the way, how are we supposed to move around with the airflow? No big deal. We can just float in this seat area and wait for another person to come to us. See, the next person is already waiting in line. <laughs> <gasps> wait, it looks like humans have found some ways to fight against us. Oh no, how can this have ever happened? I can't believe they have figured out ways to stop us. What did they figure out? First, they know to avoid clustering. That's not good. How are we going to show off our super spreading magic trick then? This is hopeless. If people don't hang around the infected person, it will be impossible for us to find a new host. If we don't find a new host, we will die. Even worse, they now know that one to two meters of physical distance is not enough to stop us. They stay away from each other as far as they can. This way, the viruses will lose their infectivity before reaching a new host. Now, people are also wearing their masks in the right way with a good fit. There are no gaps for us to sneak in. Oh no, I see their fourth strategy. Run! Run! It's a HEPA cleaner. We have no way to escape. We're doomed. Humans have figured out that air filtration with HEPA purifiers can remove almost all of us. Almost all of the virusols will be caught. Ah, help! Ha ha ha! I will get you all! Whew! Luckily, I ran away and survived. Is that your best shot, humans? Show me what else you've got! Ha 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 ha! It's my turn. I am a UV lamp set by humans to terminate you. Ah, how dare you! You damaged the coronaviruses I carry, and they cannot replicate themselves. Ace 2 will not accept the viruses anymore. Oh. Messing with virusols is a piece of cake for me, but be careful to put me in the proper place. I don't want to damage someone's eyes or skin. I just want to kill the virusols. I don't want to hurt anyone. Humans have found the right ways to stop us now. They will work together to keep the air clean. Then there will be no chance for our survival. They avoid clustering and keep distances so far that we can hardly reach a potential hope. Little by little, they are going to purify the air on Earth. There is no room for our survival. Looks like Earth is no longer a good place for us virusols. Humans, you win! 